And they're off. Mad Maddie toward the inside. Hopeful Princess away well, too. Shake It Out West is there. Double Whopper from that far outside post. Tequila Queen races up as well, but it's Mad Maddie. Fleet-footed onto the far turn, leading by two. Hopeful Princess on the chase from second. Double Whopper is third. Tequila Queen inside fourth. Cool it off, running along in fifth. Three lengths back. Pretty happy on the move into sixth. Shake It Out West is now seventh. Summer War is eighth. My Margaret Ann is at the back in ninth as they race for the top of the stretch. Mad Maddie got the jump by the quarter pole in front, but Hopeful Princess draws alongside. Here's Hopeful Princess coming after Mad Maddie and these two to throw it down to the final furlong. Mad Maddie still in front by half a length. Hopeful Princess trying to get by second. Tequila Queen farther back in third. 16th out. Mad Maddie and Hopeful Princess. Now Hopeful Princess is in front. Hopeful Princess runs down Mad Maddie to win it. Hopeful Princess first on the wire. Mad Maddie second. Tequila Queen was third. And Pretty Happy rallied for fourth. in the gate. And they're off on Corfu with a good start on the far outside. Ruler of Denial is there. Barry Lee toward the rail. Flashing speed as well. Onto the main track they go. And I'm Corfu with that good beginning is out to set the pace. But Barry Lee comes up in the inside to be second. Sharp Bart's not far behind. Tucking up into third. Ruler of Denial comes away fourth. Only two lengths off the lead. Three lengths back to Splash for Gold. Fifth on the outside of Xavian. Then it's T-Loves a Fight who's second to last and eight lengths off the lead. And it's five lengths Lengths back to stay home at the back. 21 and three fifth seconds the opening quarter. On the outside, I'm Corfu. On the inside, Barry Lee. I'm Corfu, narrow lead. Sharp Bart right in behind, running in third. Ruler of the Nile. Ask for more speed on the outside. Fourth and now third and coming on. Farther back at Xavian racing in fifth. He loves a fight under pressure. Six off the turn. And it's I'm Corfu in front to the final three sixteenths. Ruler of the Nile to the attack on the outside. And Xavian is rallying with T-Loves a fight as Barry Lee gives way. So too sharp part, 16th pole. I'm Corfu still in front. Ruler of the Nile trying to get by. And right at the 16th pole he does. Ruler of the Nile outrunning Corfu to the wire. Xavian will be third and T-Loves a fight finished fourth.
Number seven, ruler of the dial, first nine. I'm Corfu, second, three, Zavi, and third and five. T Loves a fight, finished fourth. It's not official. Ruler of the Nile is a five-year-old son of Pioneer of the Nile. From Heavenly Vision by Forestry, owned by Bevo Racing, tried by Michael Lauer with winning jockey Ricardo Santetta Jr. Brandon Kentucky by Christiana Stable at the time for the race, 109.64 seconds. Not yet official. They're in the gate. And they're off. Magically honored toward the outside. English escort at the rail. Stylish ashes up close. Rosafa flashing speed from mid-pack. Beauty Day far outside. Drop Dead Gorgeous is also there. Racing up the chute and Beauty Day comes on to take the lead. Drop Dead Gorgeous right alongside in second. And Magically Honored is up close as well. And Rosafa toward the inside. So Rosafa comes on through to take the lead now. Beauty Day is running in second. Magically Honored in between while third. Dropped it gorgeous fourth and on the outside. Gypsy Wife over to the inside to be fifth. Stylish Ash in the thick of it running along in sixth. Revealing quality in the clears now. Seventh English Escort on the move from eighth. Strong Work is running along in ninth. Union Song following that one tenth by four. Lavaliers at the back with Nessum Dorma. On to the far turn, Rose Zaffa's half mile was 47 at one-fifth seconds. The leader by half a length, Magically Honored, is right there. Beauty Day three wide, drop dead gorgeous, spun out four wide midway round the far turn. Gypsy Wife in behind under pressure, trying to keep up in fifth. Then it's Stylish Ash back in sixth. English Escort moving inside from seventh as they come off the turn, stacked across the track. Beauty Day comes off the turn with an arrow lead. Magically Honored is there. Drop dead gorgeous wide trip into the stretch. Coming on nonetheless. Dripsy Wife is in behind trying to come on late. Union Song's got a shot. There's one for long to go. Drop dead gorgeous on the wrong lead but in front. Beauty Day trying to get by second. Wanders inside. Beauty Day re-rallying on drop dead gorgeous. These two to the wire together. And Beauty Day re-rallied to win it. By a long neck in the end. Drop dead gorgeous for second. Farther back, Gypsy Wife in Union Song. Not official, photo finish. They're in the gate. And they're off. Good beginning for his giant. Racing right for the lead. Feeling it comes away well. Second and inside. Vineyard is up close. Third and moving up. Jersey Agenda comes away in fourth as they move up the backstretch. His giant in front, but it's an arrow lead. Vineyard is right alongside, hounding from second, feeling it is tucked away third at the rail. Jersey Agenda's up into fourth for the backstretch run. Come on, Venezuela, fifth while in the clear. 
Intonations on the move from six. Big Irons down inside. Seventh quest for fire is eighth. Felipe is now ninth. South Sider, tenth and down inside. Great is eleventh while wide. And five lengths back to horse feathers. Three for longs to go. Twenty-one and four fifth seconds the opening quarter. His giant rounding the turn in front. Vineyard still seconded outside. Feeling it tries to come off the rail, switches out three wide, third, Jersey Agenda fan, four wide and fourth, top of the stretch. His Giants still in front, but they're pouncing now. Feeling it comes on boldly. Jersey Agenda center of the track, one for long to go. Feeling it has put a nose in front. His Giant battles on, but is back into second as Feeling It takes over with a 16th to go, and he's opening up by two to the wire. Feeling It got it. His giant was second, Jersey Agenda third, and South Sider rallied for fourth. They're in the gate. And they're off. From the far outside, Blue Steel, Frost or Frippery, calculated risker, mind your own Malone down inside, races up on through two. Three of them across the track, first turn. Blue Steel crosses and clears. That outside post over to the rail leads a length and a half. Mine, your own Malone is running in second. Froster Frippery's on the outside, moving up one spot now into second. Mine, your own Malone is back into third. Calculated Risker racing in fourth. Hooray for Harvey is fifth. El Rubio down inside, running along in sixth. High risk strategy right there. Seventh Valley Cove in between, moving up from eighth. Italian Charm is ninth. Curlin Gray down inside in tenth. And overzealous had to study repeatedly around the clubhouse. Turned and is relegated to the back of the pack, but it's a tight pack. 24 seconds flat the opening quarter mile. Blue Steel shows the way with Frost or Frippery poised on the outside second for the final half mile. Calculated Risker not far behind racing third. Mine, your own Malone down inside is now fourth. Hooray for Harvey is fifth. Valley Cove under pressure sixth. High risk strategy is wide in seventh. Curlin Gray saving all sorts of ground and moving up several spots suddenly up into fourth. Farther back it's El Rubio overzealous near the back racing for the top of the stretch and Frost or Frippery assumes control at the quarter pole and shakes loose to lead by two cruising off the turn. Calculated risker in a full out drive trying to close in second. Blue Steel down inside is third. Curlin Gray is fourth. There's one furlong left. Frost or Frippery lengthened a half in front. Calculated Risker's trying hard, but Frost or Frippery is too much and is cleared down to the wire. Frost or Frippery wins by two and a half, maybe three in the end. Curlin Gray got up for second. Calculated Risker, Blue Steel, and Overzealous.
They're in the gate. And they're off. From the far outside, Blue Steel, Frost or Frippery, calculated risker, buying your own Malone down inside, races up on through two. Three of them across the track, first turn. Blue Steel crosses and clears. That outside post over to the rail leads a length and a half. Mind Your Own Malone is running in second. Froster Frippery's on the outside, moving up one spot now into second. Mind Your Own Malone is back into third. Calculated Risker racing in fourth. Hooray for Harvey is fifth. El Rubio down inside, running along in sixth. High risk strategy. Right there, seventh. Valley Cove in between, moving up from eighth. Italian Charm is ninth. Curlin Gray down inside in tenth. And overzealous had to study repeatedly around the clubhouse. Turned and is relegated to the back of the pack. But it's a tight pack. 24 seconds flat the opening quarter mile. Blue Steel shows the way with Frost or Frippery poised on the outside second for the final half mile. Calculated Risker not far behind racing third. Mine Your Own Malone down inside is now fourth. Hooray for Harvey is fifth. Valley Cove under pressure sixth. High risk strategy is wide in seventh. Curlin Gray saving all sorts of ground and moving up several spots suddenly up into fourth. Farther back it's El Rubio overzealous near the back racing for the top of the stretch and Frost or Frippery assumes control at the quarter pole and shakes loose to lead by two cruising off the turn. Calculated risker in a full out drive trying to close in second. Blue Steel down inside is third. Curlin Gray is fourth. There's one furlong left. Frost or Frippery lengthened a half in front. Calculated Risker's trying hard, but Frost or Frippery is too much and is cleared down to the wire. Frost or Frippery wins by two and a half, maybe three in the end. Curlin Gray got up for second. Calculated Risker, Blue Steel, and Overzealous. They're in the gate, and they're off. VJ's bet for the inside post. Reedy D racing for the lead and opens up suddenly in front by two and a half by three. Reedy D, the clear-cut leader. Doubles dance on the outside, racing up into second. Mentality is coming away third. Winning your engine advances up fourth while in the clear. VJ's bet broke near the top, but is back into fifth inside. Delica is running along in sixth. Harmless is wide under the course in seventh. Devant is back eighth. Outside of Stylishly, who's in ninth and more is the last of them all. They're all chasing Reenie D, who scoots round the far turn at a big price opening quarter, 22 and four. The lead is three. Mentality trying to cut the corner inside of Devil's Dance. They're off the turn together, second and third. VJ's bet pops outside from fourth. Dalika trying to come down the center of the course. Moore switches to the outside. Devont and stylishly coming up the rail. There's one for long to go. Rini D's in deep water. Here's Mentality. Here's Dalika. Stylishly, I just stop and check hard. VJ's bet trying to get on track late, but meanwhile, Dalika has kicked away. And clear sailing to the wire for her. Dalika wins by two. Mentality was second. That it was either Rini D, Devant, or Vijay's bet.
Number three, Dalica first, four mentality second, photo for third. They're in the gate. And they're off. Tossing the rider, Classy Justice. Classy Justice tossed the rider coming out of the gate. Princess Phone races for the league and angles over toward the inside. Channel Princess is there. Spun easy on the outside. Farther out than that is Lady McKenzie. Foot a little bit wide by that riderless horse as the field heads up the chute and comes on to the main track. And up top, it's Princess Phone showing the way. Spun easy on the outside, tugs up now, and that one takes over. And smack dab between them is Channel Princess right up and on the pace, racing in third. Addison tucked away fourth and at the rail. Complete comes away fifthly to McKenzie, sixth and on the outside. And three lengths back from there to be sky high the trailer. So the field continues on down the backstretch run. Princess Phone shows the way. Channel Princess stalking the pace. Spun easy three wide. Right across the track to the far turn. The opening half in 47 and 2. Addison is on the chase from fourth. Asked to go now. Lady McKenzie fifth and starting to wind up. And then it's complete down inside sixth and B sky high at the back. So around the far turn, spun easy. Three wide and looking for the lead. Addison comes up. Lady McKenzie comes wide. Princess phone cuts to corner. Channel Princess gives way behind them. Top of the stretch, spun easy. Spun easy's off the turn, opening up to lead by two. Addison produced now in the outside, second and closing in. Princess phone gives way. Channel Princess gives way. Lady McKenzie flattened out. 16th pull, spun easy by two. Addison trying hard, still second. Time running out. Spun easy down inside to win it. Spun easy, length and a half in the end. Addison was second, Channel Princess was third, and Princess Phone was fourth. And they're off. Good beginning for front run the Fed. Mr. Dumas is there. Ritzy AP flashing speed. Alcatam down inside. If that outside post, Casa Creed tries to tuck over toward the rail, but is stuck wide, moving into the clubhouse turn. Ritzy AP, an aggressive early ride. Restive is Ritzy AP now, opening up to lead by two, trying to angle over toward the rail. Alcatam is waiting back in second with Mr. Dumas right alongside in third. Casa Creed comes away fourth. Front run the Fed finds a cozy spot down inside in fifth. Jason Solitude running along in sixth. Royal Mesa is now seventh. Ivar is eighth. Moon Colony in ninth. Clint Maroon's at the back early. 24-3 was at opening quarter mile. Midway down the back stretch. Ritzy AP joined by a keyed up Mr. Dumas on the outside. They go one, two. There's four for longs to go. Ritzy AP lets it out just a bit. Builds a one length advantage to the far turn. Two and a half lengths back from there to Alcatan back running along in third. Casa Creed is fourth. Front run the feds down inside fifth. Jace's Solitude moving up while wide sixth. Moon Colony saving ground in seventh. I fire is eighth. Royal Mesa's in ninth. And Clint Maroon's in tenth as they round the far turn. 
49 and one fifth seconds for Ritzy AP, who is still all alone up top. Turning for home in front by two. Mr. Dumas to the attack in second. Casa Creed is third. Front run the Fed with four lengths to make up in fourth. Mr. Dumas strikes the front with a 16th to go. Ritzy AP is battling on. Casa Creed outside trying to get on track late, but they're coming for the wire. Mr. Dumas short lead. And Mr. Dumas, a hard-fought win it was. Ritzy AP was second. Casa Creed was third. And front run the Fed was fourth. Number nine, Mr. Dumas was first, six, Ritzy AP second, ten, Casa Creed third, and five, front on the Fed was fourth. Not official. And they're off. Thomasville bounces out on top. Since you left that inside post is racing up, so is Garden Affair from the outside and farther out it's Blessum stuck wide into the clubhouse turn. Thomasville going head to head with Sensu Left. Thomasville takes the upper hand, Sensu Left keyed up, comes right back at the inside and reclaims the lead in the opening quarter mile. Blessum settles in behind, running along in third. Garden Affairs in the clear fourth. Eden is down inside fifth. Sudan's racing in sixth, about five lengths off to lead a break of four back to Wrinkles Your Nose in seventh. She's a deal in eighth. Joker Lady ninth by three. Hashtag winners at the back with flashing red. They're about 12 lengths behind. Five for longs to go. The opening quarter mile in 23 and two fifth seconds. Since you left, heading up the back stretch in front half a length. Thomasville's been tracking throughout. Eden is holding in toward the inside third and getting closer now. Blessum is wide in fourth. Farther out is Garden Affair in fifth. Soothing is sixth and four lengths behind. Flashing Red has made some progress. Drawn to within five lengths of the lead with three furlongs to go. Since you left is still in front, though. Thomas has been second throughout. Blessum three wide. Garden Affairs had a very wide trip. Flashing Red is winding up. Eden was stopped briefly and heading to the far turn. It still cuts the corner off the turn. Top of the stretch. Garden Affair on the far outside is up for the lead. Thomasville is there. Blessum nowhere to go for Eden. Center of the track. She's a deal getting on track. Flashing Red is two. And weaving through the pack is hashtag winner. Hashtag winner dives down inside. Nose in front. She's a deal outside. These two streaking through the stretch together and hashtag winner the upset winner a length on the wire over she's a deal in second flashing red third eden was fourth and it was either garden affair or bless em.